Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Today is Halloween and I have a really fun fall project for you that will carry you all the way through the holidays. So take a look at this darling little runner behind me. Isn't this so cute? So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is the half hexi ruler that makes the bottom and the top of the pumpkin. And you're just going to need some scraps because it's just three pumpkins. Now if you're like me and you have a really big table, you can make it as long as you want. But I'm going to show you how to make that pumpkin block. So what you're going to do first off is you have to cut your hexagon. So we've got some scraps here. I love scrappy projects because we all have a few scraps. So we've got some scraps here and I'm going to cut my half hexagon um, out of this scrap. And you want to get all these pieces ready to go so that, um, so that the assembly just goes together like a dream. There we go. One more cut. All right. So now I have a half hex gun and we want to mix them up. So I went ahead and cut two because I'll use that for another pumpkin. And I have one cut over here. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your fabric, a co you know, a coordinating fabric, and you're going to cut a two and a half inch strip, and that's going to go in the center. And then we need to cut the little pieces for the sides. I decided instead of the black this time to try the gray. And so um, what I did was I know when I make this that this angle right here, this angle, is the angle that that we need for the side pieces to make this a block. Everything has to kind of go into a block shape in order for it to fit nicely with each other. And so I want that angle, but I didn't want the whole space of a whole pumpkin. I wanted them just to, just to jut up against each other, just like this. And so what I, what I needed to do was figure that out. So here's what I did. I took my half hexi and I laid it along the edge of my fabric. Actually, I'm gonna cut, trim this selvage off right here. So let's trim this off. A lot of these um, orange fabrics are from the Patrick Losey Basic Patrick line. And uh, they're just cute, cute little fabrics. All right, so now what I did here is I took the point. Let me scoot this out of the way, make sure you can see this. So I put the, took the point of my half hexi and I laid it over here. And I made sure that right up here at the top, there was about a little bit more than a half, half inch. And, you know, I just lined that up straight. So if your fabric is straight on your mat, you can see your half inch is, this, is the same. And really, you can eyeball this because we're going to trim the block down. So then we're going to go ahead and cut over here. And I'm going to flip this around so it makes it easier for me to cut. So I've got my half inch lined up here. And I'm just going to trim here. Trim there. Make sure I'm trimmed across here. And these are going to be my side pieces for my pumpkin. So I'm going to need two for each pumpkin. Let me put it right up here. Sometimes I forget that if you put it right at the other cut, you have one less cut to make. All right. So now I have this little side piece. And this little side piece is going to, going to border the sides of my pumpkin. And this is the first part that you want to do. So you want to take these. And you're going to line them up like this. And if you have your fabrics folded so that they're uh, wrong sides together or right sides together, you'll get one going each direction, which is what we need. And here's my other one. And we are going to lay him out as well. And then we're going to head to the sewing machine and sew these together. So when I go to, when I go to sew these together, you're just going to lay these right on the edge and just stitch them down. I mean, it's easy as that. So let's go do that. All right, here we are. There we go. So a few anchoring stitches. Make sure you're still lined up and you can sail down the side. And we'll do the other side. And then I'm going to grab that other one and do it too. All right, so I've got both the both sides of my pumpkin done here, and we're going to come over here and uh, iron these. So I'll just press those back, 
and this one also. All right, so now we have our little half hexi, and you can see this one's a little off right here. This is not gonna matter because we're gonna square this up. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another strip that is a little, you know, a little bit different because we want them kind of all different fabrics. I mean, you can match if you want to. And we're gonna lay this right down the middle like this. So I'm gonna put it right sides together on this side and sew it down to here and then right sides on the, and then attach this one to the other side of the strip. So we'll do that. This goes together so quick. There we are. And I'm just going to pull this out and open it up and attach the other side right from here. Now we'll head to the ironing machine and we will uh, iron these back like this. I like to iron from the top, make sure I got no folds in my fabric, and then I'll flip this over and make sure my seams are going the right direction. All right, so now what we, we're going to do is we are going to square this up, and the first part of that means trimming trimming this little flap off here. And, and our, little, our little pumpkin block is ready to go, but we need to make sure that when we set this together, that it's not gonna go, you know, that, that they're, gonna, they're gonna go right next to each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out a quarter of an inch from the sides and just trim a hair off of this to make sure that it's, you know, that when we put those two pumpkins together, we don't want anything to show but those two pumpkins. So I just kind of, and this is kind of a little bit of a guesstimate on here. You know, you just want to straighten that block up and make sure it's straight. You can go along the bottom here and straighten this up. And then you have your finished pumpkin block. Just like that, it goes together so cute. So for this one, this little runner behind me, I made three of these. One, two, three. I put a one and a half inch strip of border around the first part of the, around the pumpkins here, just, just to square it up and stop that border. So for this gray and this strip, you're gonna need about a quarter of a yard. Then I added another border, a three inch border on there, and you'll need a quarter of a yard for that because it just takes three strips. The only other thing I did that's different was I decided I wanted a few little stems. And let me just show you uh, how I did that. They can all be different and they just have to look like a, um, a little pumpkin stem. And so really I just freehanded them. And I know there's people who are like, I can't freehand, but you really can. So um, the, actually the first two I made, <laughs> Natalie saw and she was like, uh, no mom, try again. It, it looks kind of like a tree trump. So we're skinny at the top. We go down to the bottom. And then we just kind of go up to the top again like this and you're just gonna lay it on there like that. Now for mine, you can put this on heat and bond and do all that, but for mine what I did was I just used a little bit of a lapel stick, stuck it onto the border, and then just zigzagged around it. Went together really easy and really cute. But, and so this will take you all the way through the fall, but wait, I wanna show you something else. I saw this, when I saw this pumpkin go together, of course, I saw ornaments as well. So take a look at this ornament. Isn't this fun? Instead of a stem, I did this little ornament topper right here and a little hook with rickrack. I used a half a yard of rickrack and it just, I mean, I had even had some left. So it's, it's, you know, it doesn't take very much to do it and it goes together really cute. I love this fabric. This was from um, the television show when I was a kid. It was like one of the first cartoons and it was uh, the Rudolph cartoon. It played every single Christmas. The fabric is from Quilting Treasures and it's called Rudolph, 50 years and still counting. So it's just a really fun, nostalgic look to it. And I, I just love it. It just reminds me of my Christmas when I was a child. 
So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the half hexi ornament and pumpkin table runner from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.